Hello LEGO fans, welcome to my review of set 75015. Hopefully you would have seen my other two videos related to this set. Um, firstly the actual unboxing um, and then the build um, in quick time. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is a review of this particular set, 75015. So as we can see, instruction manual with the set. Um, standard instructions. Approximately 55 pages of build. Instructions. Okay, the box. This is the actual box for the set. You can see there. Uh, 75015, ages 7 to 12, and it's the Corporate Alliance Tank Droid. Um, is the actual name of the set. So there's the rear of the box. You can see there. It hasn't got many features this set, which I'll uh, go into in a second. Just want to give you a good view of the box. So here, Jay, you can see the minifigures. I guess this is that particular minifigure there. Is going to be what draws most people to this particular set. Django Fett. Uh, set costs me in the UK nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Okay, so into the actual set. Okay, we're going to start off with the minifigures. So a quick review of the minifigures. So, first one up is our clone trooper. You can see there. Okay, kind of the standard clone trooper with a blaster rifle. I'll take that off. Get a better look at. There's your clone trooper's face, torso printed. Okay, so that's it with the clone trooper. Next up, we have Battle Droid. Okay, so there we go, there's the old Battle Droid. He comes with the backpack piece. A blaster to a droid. Okay, and then, like I said, this is going to be the main reason, in my opinion, why most Lego Star Wars fans would buy this set. I guess for the long awaited Django Fett. Um, obviously, it's been, I think it's around about 10, 11 years since this figure originally came out in the Set Slave one, which I also have. <coughs> okay, let's get into a bit closer. So, you can see he comes with the two pistols. Which I'm just going to remove. Okay, as so you can see there, some good front torso and front leg printing. And of course, his jetpack. Remove the helmet. As you can see there. His face printing. And it is just one side. Okay, so I'm just going to take his jetpack off. So you can see. The rear printing. There we go, so you can see the rear torso printing. And this is the colour is really well it's silver, um, as you can see there, kind of a silver chrome effect on his torso on both the rear um, and the front. So like I said, I think that's the main draw for this particular set. So into the actual 
tank um, itself. Right, here we go. So a fairly basic set overall. Um, I think the main features on this are obviously, first of all, the tank track itself. So you can move it along. Like so. One thing to point out, the reason I've put these grey base plates down is if you're doing this on a smooth surface, although it is doing it, it can be difficult for the tank track. You have to really put some pressure on it for it to go around on a smooth surface. Whereas if you're doing it on carpet, it's going to grip obviously far better. Um, and the tank track will go around quite smoothly. So probably the only other real main feature on this are a couple of flip missiles. So one there. There you can see, just fits in there. Um, you can see some others here, but these aren't actually flip missiles. The only flip missiles are there, and again one on this side, which is there. Let's put that back in. Okay, you've got these front pieces here. The feet, I guess, move up and down. Actually, that side, um, you've got at the top here. These can sort of move, but not particularly brilliantly. Okay, so like I said, there really isn't a great deal more to say about this set, to be perfectly honest. Uh, basic set, I mean, obviously, bear in mind, it's um, £19.99. So, the, I guess, the lower end of the Star Wars sets. Um, piece count is 271 pieces. Um, but bear in mind, 60 of those are these tank tracks. Um, yeah. Um, the other thing I want to show you on it, I guess, is the spare bits. There was quite a few spares that come with it. You can see a couple of spare tank tracks in there, some arms for the droids and a few other, I guess, miscellaneous pieces. Um, and also the accessories that come with Django Fett himself. So you can see those in there. There's a spare pistol as well. Actually comes with three pistols um, and visors and antennas. Um, in there too. So I think it's pretty much it for this set. Like I said, fairly basic set. It's good, looks good. Quite like the look of the actual tank droid itself. Playability. Yeah, you can move it around so it's good for younger kids. Um, actually got this they can move around and there are a couple of obviously flip missiles which can be thrown but I'm still going to come back to Certainly for the um, Star Wars fans out there, I think the main draw is going to be um, Django Fett um, himself. Um, I do also have um, Slave One um, Star Wars set with the original Django Fett, so I will be doing a review um, later between the two separate Django Fets to see the differences. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Hopefully you like this review. Um, fairly quick one, but it is quite a basic set. Like I said, this guy being really the main draw for this. Um, but that's it for my review of this particular set, 75015, the Corporate Alliance Tank Joint. Um, please do like this video. Um, subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'd really appreciate to get some more subscribers on board. Um, obviously this is fairly new to me still and I have many many sets to continue to review and obviously um, please comment as well because your comments are going to help me help me understand what you want to see, what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong um, and share the video as well so hopefully see you again in the next video. Cheers!